this place is stark. We smell no pheromones, feel no auras. We should be cautious. Cypher, there's no one to welcome us. Seems our cloaking device has worked. Where are we, anyway? In orbit around Artus V. It's a gas giant, no life forms. This starship is a modified Imperial Dreadnought, maximum crew complement of 5,000. It's also jamming long-range communications, so I can't check its registration or call for reinforcements. Our traitor is hiding his tracks. Nonetheless, top priority is finding the eradicated command codes before the weapons initiate a random firing pattern. This data spike contains our half of the codes. Once you obtain the other half, you should be able to control the eradicators from any computer. Any idea where the codes might be stored? If we're lucky, they'll be on the bridge computers, and you can deactivate the eradicators from there. If they're not, I don't know. I do have one other thing for you. A comlink implant. So long as you're wearing it, I can monitor your situation and speak to you privately. Is this one-way communication, or can I reply? Subvocally. Whisper to me, and no one else will hear. While you search the interior, I'll try to slice the security systems. We're counting on you. Put an end to this. It's a grand social experiment. There's probably a hundred of us from across the Empire. All saved from the fire. Who knows how or why. For the most part, we're left to ourselves. Squabbling and fighting. Left to fear our own shadows. But we know the Master's out there. And I'm convinced there's a plan at work. Somebody wants to change us. Someone wants to control us. Agent? Been. I don't know how long it's been. I lose count of the days during the blackout. The ones furthest along. They say our terror transforms us into the Master's image. Well, I'll tell the Master what's really happening. We're learning to fight back. Do you hear me, Master? We'll kill you for this. We'll kill you. I was so happy when I got the invitation. Everything was going to change for me. Leave home for a year? Why has the Master picked me to survive when hundreds died? And now the rest of us, 
one by one. My mother was a slave, but I wasn't, because my father was an officer. I don't want to end up like her. Oh, please, please, someone rescue us. Something's wrong. Like rot within the hive. There is taint spreading through the unity. So, you've arrived at last. Cypher, I know that voice. I expected too little of you. You served me well on Hutter and on Drome and Kaas. I should have known you would serve me again. It is an honor, my lord. An honor that you have earned. Once before, you were inoculated by the dark side. I will speak now as I spoke then. Accept the gift of your life, Agent, and we will discuss Terror, the Empire, and the Sith. Give me one good reason not to open fire. My tolerance has limits. Your destruction serves neither of us. Don't, Cypher. You know what he's capable of. I'm trying to analyze the situation, but it'll take time, and if he has the command codes... It was my desire that the Eagle unite the terror cells. It was my desire that my flagship be destroyed. I required a weapon that the Dark Council would overlook. The terrorists became my unknowing servants and carried out my plan. What does the Dark Council have to do with this? Everything. A member of the Council is forced to politic, to struggle against his rivals. The waste is unimaginable. With my false death, I escaped the eyes of the Dark Council and of Imperial Intelligence. After the Dominator, I came here, bringing with me those passengers worthy of elevation. I maneuvered my pieces into place. What's the point of it all? Keep him talking. Damn it. We can't fight him on our own. His power is second to the Emperor's. I accomplished two things during my absence. First was the diminution of the Dark Council. Upon my death, my former enemies began warring amongst themselves, vying to claim my resources. Darth Jorid's arrival escalated the chaos. My daughter is doomed, but she is an adequate distraction. I can't call for reinforcements so long as that jamming field is active. But he'll annihilate anything less than an army. No one's invincible. A bolt to the brain? You've never fought a true Sith Lord or a Jedi Master. They're not like us. They're not human. You can't win this with a blaster. Throwing the Sith into disorder was only the start. The rest of the Empire had to be prepared as well. That was the Eagle's purpose, to sow fright and hatred. All this while, my eradicators were growing. Now they are ready, and my victory is close at hand. What victory? What are you talking about? The Eradicators will destroy the strongholds and apprentices of my enemies on the Council. So too will the Eradicators terrorize the Empire. Then I will return to the Council and lead the Empire into a new age, an epoch of terror. The Emperor won't let you get that far. The Emperor is... distracted. I could re-sculpt the Dark Temple into a monument to my glory, and he would fail to object. Perhaps I shall do exactly that. I see where this is going. He needs the Eradicators to make this work, but you have half the command codes. Under my rule, all people will revel in fear and anger and degradation. These prizes will no longer be hoarded by Sith. But without both halves of the Eradicator codes, my weapons cannot be targeted. They will merely cause chaos. Mere chaos isn't enough for you, is it? No. The Eagle's death, your acquisition of his codes, has forced me to adapt. Without orders, the Eradicators will fire blindly. This serves neither of us. Enter your codes into the ship so the Eradicators can target my enemies. You will be rewarded. You will be my herald. Last time you promised me something, you faked your own death. I misunderstood your role. Consider what I can offer now. Power, wealth, a place in my vision. When I rule the Dark Council, 
Imperial intelligence will have a mandate uncompromised by Sith politics. Imagine a world where you could act with true authority and fear controls the populace. Together, we can create a stronger empire. I need some time. It's a lot to take in. Very well. But understand this. If you refuse, you will die at my hand. The Eradicators will still reap untold destruction. Your sacrifice would mean nothing. I can be merciful. Take the time to consider your choice. Then we can begin the true work. We'll see about that. All right, stay focused and don't look at Jadis. How are you holding up? Can we put together a plan? I'm all right, but I don't think we have much time. We need to re-examine our priorities. We came here to stop the Eradicators, but we weren't prepared for reality. Our plan now has to focus on neutralizing Darth Jadis. Everything else is peripheral. There's still an imminent attack to worry about. I'm sorry, Cypher. The numbers aren't in our favor. You can deactivate the Eradicators right now. Just combine the codes in the bridge computers. But to keep Jadis from reactivating them, you'd have to blow up the ship's reactor. It's a suicide run, and chances are, Jadis will escape. You have another suggestion? We trick Jadis. We give him the codes and let him launch his attack. Once the Eradicators start their bombardment, you slip off the bridge and take the ship apart. You sabotage the jamming field, hyperdrive, and shields. Then I can call in reinforcements. The military, the Dark Council, forcing Jadis to surrender. The Eradicators are deactivated as soon as feasible. It could be the chance we need. Sacrifice a few lives to gain Jadis' trust. You're making the right choice, Cypher. Enter the codes at the bridge console. Let Jadis target the Eradicators however he wants. Then we sabotage the ship. I promise his victory will be short-lived. decision agent our new age begins across the empire the eradicators will burn cities and destroy the prizes of my enemies all right cypher jadis is distracted make your excuses so you can get off the bridge and sabotage the ship i'm on my way just hold on your thoughts are confused a temporary condition for which i have an anodyne the distress calls the cries of fear and pain these will be routed to the ship as the Eradicators work. A thousand voices screaming in terror. Will you savor them, Agent? I'll do my best to appreciate them. I sense doubt in you, but it changes nothing. There is nothing that will let you forget. Let your loathing bring you strength. Go, Cypher. Casualties are mounting. Take out the jamming signal, hyperdrive and shields. Once you do, I can call in reinforcements and Jadis will be at our mercy. Message intercepted from Rin Mining Colony. Something's happening. We're under attack by the Rathen ships. The command post was cut in half by a beam from the sky. Anyone who receives this, help us. Our defenses are minimal. We can't... Message intercepted from Moff Lechera. What's going on? I'm getting reports of three separate attacks on two Sith training grounds, one on a blasted hospital. I was told we'd be warned if the Eradicators couldn't be stopped. Get me the Intelligence Minister now. Message intercepted from the Quen system, source unknown. We're burning up. We need authorization to evacuate. Lord Farrell will kill us if we abandon station, but we can't last. Please. My name is Frank Rowless. I have family in Car City. Give us the order to evacuate.
Message intercepted from San Pedal City. I don't know if anyone's receiving this. It may be too late anyway. They hit the bunker first. There couldn't have been more than a dozen soldiers inside, mostly civilians. And they blew the whole thing up. What's going on? Is it terrorists? Is it the public? What's happening? Increasing combat pheromones. Message intercepted from Citadel Command. It looks like the intelligence failed to catch the eradicators in time. We'll have to declare a state of emergency. It's a miracle the Citadel hasn't been hit. I don't know if those terrorists want to spare us, but it gives us a fighting chance. Diagnostics show fatal errors in the jamming system's hyperdrive and shields. The ship is crippled, Cypher. We've got a full fleet of reinforcements coming, including three Dark Council vessels. Jadis can't win against them. But until they arrive, you need to keep him occupied on the bridge. How am I supposed to do that? You can't beat Jadis in personal combat, but you might be able to trap him. This ship can generate internal ray shielding. You can reroute the bridge defenses to trap him in a force field. Hopefully it'll hold until the fleet jumps out of light speed. Let's hope for the best. You can do this, Cypher. It's what you're good at. I don't need to remind you that people are hurting because of us. But if we succeed, the sacrifice will be worthwhile. Watch the two out. Are you well?
Slowly. After what you've done, you still return. How bold. I never expected you would pay such a price to betray me. So many innocents burning in their homes because of you. You've lost, Lord Jadis. Surrender now. My defeat may be inevitable now. I do not know. But your perfidy must be answered. You will die, along with many others. components to reroute power to the force fields. Oh, my God. 
power to get that force build up. Keep him distracted and I can raise the force field. Slowly. into the ratio controls now. you hope to achieve, your moment will pass. Cypher 9, this is Keeper. We have a fleet in position to destroy this vessel. Please report. Maybe you should talk to Darth Jadis. I'll do that, Lord Jadis. Be advised that a boarding party of Sith and Honor Guards is on its way. I suggest you not draw their ire. I understand. Cypher, I understand you have control over the Eradicators. Can you disable them? I'm on it. We can discuss why you activated the weapons later, but I expect the Dark Council will approve of the result. I'll see you shortly. The song of the universe is resuming. The nest must now regenerate. What does that mean, Vector? It means it will take a long time to recover from this day. The joiner is unnerved by your actions, your callousness towards your own kind. Tell me, Cypher 9, was your victory worth it? How many lives would you have sacrificed to capture me? I don't regret what I did. I don't expect you do. I merely wanted to know your threshold. Under my control, the Eradicator's purge would have cut out the Empire's rot. Now the Dark Council will reassert its strength. They will punish me or destroy me. And without a revolution, their cruel, pointless reign will go on. 
I'm sure your cruel, purposeful reign would have been better. That was the vision. Leave one squad here, the rest of you sweep the ship. And if that force field so much as dims, tell Keeper to fire. Cypher, are you all right? You had it rough. I'm fine, Watcher 2, really. Fine enough to put up a good front, anyway. The Sith and the military will be cleaning up a while, and the damage from the Eradicators will take time to assess. You should get out of here. You've done your part. Get some rest. Later. Just because we've dealt with one threat doesn't mean there aren't others. Of course. Consider yourself awaiting reassignment. After all, the Empire needs us. So here's the deal. I've been working through the list of guys and gals who might come after me. Ex-partners, hookups, the usual. I think I know everyone who's a problem. We hit them first, we clean house, I'm home free. Ready to go? Is it really necessary to go after these people? If we don't, they'll come after me. They'll put attention on me and your cover will be threatened. There's four targets. Roll my pirate, Yuzhal the arms dealer, Tatigal the card shark, and that bounty hunter who's following along. I've got locations, so all we need to do is show up and start shooting. That'll work. Let's get started, shall we? Flip a coin, see we blast first. This is Watcher 3 to Cypher 9. Sorry to cut your leave short, sir, but we need you. Terrorist mop-up is officially over, and post-eradication rebuilding is on hold. The war just took top priority. Give me the situation. You're being recalled to headquarters. Keeper will brief you on your next mission. Watcher 3 out. <laughs> 